What's going on everybody, Jade up here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Arena 2 for Black Rose Prison. And this one is kind of a pain in the ass, but that's all right, we'll get it done. So here's some, uh, again, I'll go over the ads that are gonna be spawning per wave and uh, all the same stuff that I did in the first video. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna look out for are uh, the first round, first wave is going to be uh, hack wings. And basically what they do is they fly towards a player and then knock them down. Uh, they'll have like a little AOE underneath them. So just kind of watch out for that. Just keep them, pull them to the center and then, um, you know, have them talents. And then it's going to spawn three spiders. The second wave, you're going to have two horvers. They just basically do a light attack and they apply a dot. Just, just keep them talents in the center and they'll die pretty quick. Then you'll have two crocodiles which will do a tail whip and will potentially one shot a DPS. So quickly grab those and have those talons. Then there'll be two spiders. Again, we already went over, oh, we didn't go over those, but uh, basically what they do is they spit uh, at random players and they put a poison dot on them and it uh, does hurt them pretty good. The third wave is a uh, hack wing and then the beast handler, but basically it's an archer. And does the same thing as uh, every other archer. It does arrow spray, taking aim, and they can't be chained. So you have to pull them to where they need to be. The second uh, second round with the first wave, you're going to have three spiders and three horrors. Just kind of pull them in, and uh, you'll be good. Just keep them talents. You'll be good to go. The second wave, you're going to get a Hajimoto, which is a big chew-in from Runes of Mazatun which will uh, spit a poison attack uh, on you, which is a single target, and then you can either use wings to reflect it, or you can just take the damage or dodge roll, it doesn't matter. Uh, she will also uh, stick half her body into uh, underground and shoot five ground AoEs around her person uh, towards the tank. So just watch out for that and have the DPS stack behind the boss and you'll be good to go. Uh, how, and then she, what she'll also do is dig all the way underneath ground and then charge towards the tank. Anybody hit by it, you can potentially be one shot. If you are the DPS, if you're a tank, it'll just kind of knock you back a little bit. Be sure to hold block. And again, with that Haji, you'll get uh, three spiders and a crocodile. On the third wave, you'll get three spiders and the beast handler. Uh, just trying to avoid AoEs. Unfortunately, I did not, and I got nuked pretty quick. Again, we are not running a healer in this, so it is just uh, a tank and three DPS with a little bit of off heals. Now, we're about to start the third round, and these waves, um, these rounds and waves spawn pretty quick, so just be aware of that. So the third rounds are going to have river trolls, which uh, once they spawn, they'll run towards a random player and start doing a cone attack that will one shot a DPS. Uh, does a healing mechanic as well, which you can easily bash. And also does a ground pound. All you got to do is just move out of the way and then just keep DPSing it. It is AOE uh, around that person. Uh, with this troll, you'll get two spiders and two hawk wings. And then the second wave, you'll get a troll again and two crocodiles. So just make sure that you grab both those crocodiles, put them in front of the troll, and let your DPS stand behind the troll and just go to town. On the third wave, which will spawn relatively quick, um, you'll get the Beastmaster again, which is the Archer, and then one Troll. Just stack the Troll on top of the Archer, and you should be good to go. And just DPS both of those down. Uh, keep in mind that uh, there are Belly Niches around, and they do roam the arena. So any type of damage, single target or AoE, that hits those Niches, they will attack you and slightly become enraged. And once that happens, if you're underneath them, um, they will do a ground AOE underneath them and put a huge, huge, huge dot on the tank and will potentially kill and will kill a DPS. So the fourth round, first wave, you're going to have four spiders and two crocodiles. All you want to do is just kind of pull these guys into the center and just kind of nuke them down, AOE them down, just go to town while trying to avoid the, uh, the, the betting nets that are flying around just being a nuisance for no reason. Uh, the second wave, you're going to get two archers and a spider. So just kind of stack those. Just just run one side to another. And we kind of got like the third round with us on, on this one, which is uh, two spiders and a wamasu. So we kind of had like a, a crazy amount of ads just come at one point. 
Basically what the Wamasu does is going to send out a single target ball that will slow your movement speed down. Uh, does a cone attack of lightning that will damage in front of him. Also does a tail whip in front of him as well. And shoots out a six round lightning damaging uh, AoEs around his person. Uh, you could potentially be one shot if you're a DPS. But if you're holding block you shouldn't be one shot by them. So just stack back. Just stay back a little bit. And uh, you, you should be fine to be able to avoid that. Other than that, um, yeah, just try to avoid all those AoEs that are coming out. It's it's going to be kind of crazy. There, it is a small arena, so you, there's almost no safe spots. The only safe spots is away from the net. Uh, and you can't really change gear either in here. It is uh, kind of a pain in the ass to do so. Uh, the fifth round is the final boss. It uh, tames the beast is the boss's name. And he teleports to random locations of, of the map, like all, all the time and all over the place. Um, he also does taking aim. He spawns one hack wing and one spider uh, periodically throughout the fight. Just keep those chained uh, on the boss and, and uh, you guys should be able to DPS him down. Around, uh, he'll then grow a vine around his body and he'll shoot a vine at, uh, at the tank if you have him taunted. And what that'll do is it'll put, put keep you in one place and then put a dot on you. Uh, and around 80% or so, uh, he's going to spawn a troll. Just uh, t stack the troll, the troll on the boss and nuke it down. Should be fine. And then, of course, adds will spawn. So, And then uh, what the also boss does is, uh, as you can see, that yellow AoE around that DPS, he'll send a bug. Uh, it's a bugs, which is like a dot. And we just call it bugs. And it, it goes to a random person. Uh, it, it doesn't matter who it is. It could be a DPS healer or, or the tank. Uh, basically, if it's on the DPS, you want to have the other DPS, the other two DPS, or the healer and the DPS stack, and you guys just heal the crap out of it. And if it's on the tank, just everybody kind of stack on the tank, but in the in the AOE. Uh, that way, it, what it does is it just kind of reduces the damage. Now, um, around. 60% uh, he'll spawn a Hajimoto. Just kill that Hajimoto wherever he goes because he is big. He is a, a, just a nuisance. And uh, basically what you want to do, if you can uh, see the uh, the boss uh, when he's about to take aim and the Hajimoto at the same time, uh, have your DPS just stay on the Hajimoto and you just dodge that uh, taking aim. That way the, uh, there's more damage on the Hajimoto and you can easily just dodge roll it. So uh, around 30%, uh, the boss will spawn a Wamasu. Um, so you have two options here. Either nuke the boss and take the Wamasu and take the other adds that spawn and let the DPS just do their job and DPS the crap out of that uh, the archer boss. Or you can uh, kill the Wamasu, kill the adds, then go back to killing the archer. It's totally up to you. Just remember that the spiders and the uh, hawk wings spawn throughout the entire fight. So be aware of them. Chain them in. Uh, let your DPS uh, DPS those guys down. You guys should be good. Now what I did is I ended up getting vined right here and getting hit by the AoE. I just had a lot of stuff going on right here. But uh, it's easily avoidable. Just uh, kind of step back from the Wamasu and you shouldn't die. Other than that, hopefully this uh, video helped you guys out in some way or another. Try and complete this. Uh, this arena is kind of tough, and they do progressively get uh, tougher. Uh, I will be uploading the third arena uh, here in a couple days, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, and again, we'll see you in the next video.